now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited this Halloween. Spinsterella, get your goth on with this dark and spooky romance from Sean James. Spinsterella, now available in paperback and coming to Kindle this Halloween. This is going to be a part two to my enemies, solutions, and the Negro. And in the previous video, I talked about how this Negro was always going to his enemy looking for solutions and how it's always led to his detriment time after time. And in that video, I talked about the political enemies of this Afro-American Negro. And now I'm going to talk about the enemies within the Afro-American community that the Negro continues to look for solutions from. And the biggest enemy to this Afro-American Negro is this Negro pastor. And this Afro-American Negro is always going to this pastor looking for solutions that are spiritual in, you know, a relationship with God. And then not understanding that this pastor has no interest in promoting a moral standard or even trying to maintain a sense of values in your community. Yet this Negro, generation after generation, will go to this Negro pastor looking for spiritual guidance, moral guidance, moral support, when this Afro-American Negro pastor does not promote these things in his community. All you have to do is walk inside of your Afro-American Negro church on a Sunday and see how little regard this Afro-American Negro pastor has for anyone. And then you look at the congregation of your Afro-American Negro church, which is mostly black women, single mothers, with their children. Those are the only people who go to your Afro-American Negro church. But the Negro will believe that this church is working in its best interest. This church has not worked in this Afro-American Negro's best interest ever. In fact, it's one of the biggest enemies to your Afro-American Negro. I mean, this church gets 10% of the Afro-American Negro's income right off the top. 10% of the Afro-American revenue out of the community, the $3.3 trillion in cash and credit, goes right to this Negro pastor. And this Negro pastor, you know, pretty much exploits this community, this, this Afro-American Negro community. And these people look to this, this pastor for the solutions. Yet what your pastor is participating in many of the sins, you know, mentioned in your Bible, and then preaching to people a doctrine that has left them spiritually and morally bankrupt. And your other enemies in your Afro-American Negro community are your pro-blacks. And a lot of these Afro-American Negroes, they go to these pro-blacks thinking that they are out to give them solutions, that they are out to help them build so-called an economy and a stronger black community. But we look at your pro-blacks again, who say that they love black people, that they care about black people, that they want to build a strong black community, that they want to build, you know, black businesses. And we look at their actions and we see that many of these pro-blacks spend most of their time, you know, talking about white supremacy and racism, yet many of them have white girlfriends or white wives or white husbands and biracial children. Yet the Negro will go to these same people looking for more solutions and not understanding that these people are their enemies. And this is what's so, you know, insane about this Afro-American Negro. He's always going to people who don't have his best interests at heart. It's just like that gingerbread man I mentioned in an earlier video. The gingerbread man runs away from the very people who are out to help him and then winds up being taken advantage of by the fox who devours him. And one of the biggest predators to this Afro-American Negro is this Afro-American Negro female. Not all the Afro-American Negro females, but there's a handful of these Afro-American Negro females out here who are deadly predators. And just like the Negro pastor, just like the pro-black, this Afro-American Negro woman is an enemy to this Afro-American Negro. Yet this Afro-American Negro will go out and look to this female for help, look for this female for solutions, and, you know, think that she has his best interest at heart, when she does not have his best interest at heart. 
And in fact, she is only using this Negro for sperm and basically to be a pair of pants in the house. But this Afro-American Negro thinks, again, this female has his best interest at heart. None of these people, you know, have a concern for this Afro-American Negro, but he still thinks, you know, he can go to these enemies inside of his community for solutions. And that these people want to work with him towards getting solutions. And then he sits there and wonders, why does this community continue to go backwards while the rest of the world continues to move forward? And the reason why it moves forward again is backwards, not, I mean backwards, is because this Afro-American Negro continues to trust people who are his enemies, thinking that these enemies are going to work towards helping him get solutions for his community, that these enemies really are concerned with, you know, helping him out. When in actuality, these enemies are secretly undermining this Afro-American Negro and are covertly working with the very same people who he says, you know, are out to destroy him and out to oppress him. Your white supremacists and, you know, the no good evil white man. In actuality, many of these enemies really just want to be just like this white man, um, that this imagined white man. So this Afro-American Negro has no idea that he's really, when he works with these people, he's working against himself and he's pretty much, pretty much sticking, preventing himself from moving in it forward in any way, shape, or form. This is what the real solution is to the Afro-American Negro is this. This Afro-American Negro needs to start, you know, focusing on himself, focusing on his own needs, and focusing on taking care of himself. So, because the only person who has the best interest of the Afro-American Negro male is the Afro-American Negro male. But many of these Afro-American Negroes, you know, they, males, they can't connect the dots and see, you know, the enemies around him and start working with other people. But, you know, many of these Afro-American Negroes, they're, they're pretty much crabs in a barrel because they think that the enemies are their friends and that the people who are real friends to them are their enemies. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.